Um, how do you think he fit with the rest of the stable, this million dollar corporation? I thought he fit well, actually. Uh, I thought the Bam Bam was a good addition to it and gave, gave that whole stable, uh, I think, you know, more, a little bit more credibility. I, I think the Bam Bam was a heater in all of that. We should mention, uh, the it's led of course by Ted DiBiase, but you would have Ted DiBiase is the undertaker, Nikolai Volkov, IRS, Tatanka, King Kong Bundy, comma, psycho Sid. The one, two, three kid, very briefly, Santa Claus. And, uh, eventually a little fella named stone cold, Steve Austin, I guess back then he was the ringmaster. So it worked out, uh, mm-hmm. but s- somewhere here in the summer of 94, you guys allowed Bigelow the opportunity to go back and work some shows in Japan. Uh, how did this come to be? How does he get special permission to do this? And you know what? Two years later, it was not okay for Scott Hall to do this. I think it was timing again, and it was one of those situations of doing a potential talent trade and using Bam Bam in that negotiation. So Bigelow is going to team with IRS at SummerSlam to get a win over the Head Shrinkers, and then the Million Dollar Corporation of Bigelow, King Kong Bundy, Tatanka, and the Heavenly Bodies would defeat Adam Bomb, Lex Luger, Mabel, and the Smoking Guns at Survivor Series. When you're going in the Survivor Series, did you already have Lawrence Taylor in mind for WrestleMania? Or when would that have first started to become a conversation? And how does Bam Bam become the guy? Um, December was probably, yeah, it was, it was probably December by the time that we got with, with LT. LT had announced his retirement and, and all of that. So, um, I want to say it was, it was, it was after survivor series. How does Bam Bam come into the conversation? Why is he the guy who's ultimately chosen again, looking at outside of our business, when you look at who is going to face Lawrence Taylor, you're looking at a big monster of a man with a very unique look that can handle himself in the ring with LT and be able to take LT through a match and know that he would be able to get that job done. And that was bam, bam. Do you remember the, uh, the conversation or the sit down where he gets this, this Intel, is this something where Vince brings him into the office or is this just a phone call or see you at TV? No, it was probably see you at TV and let him know. Here's an idea that we have and we've got LT and we'd like you to do this. Do you remember his reaction? Was he thrilled with this over the moon? Oh yeah, absolutely. Over the moon. What I mean for for a guy like Bam Bam, you know, coming from where he came from and also being a New Jersey guy, I think that that was kind of a big deal. And LT was a bad. You get from this. Yeah. Huge thrill. Who wouldn't love that? So the ball begins moving when Bam Bam and Tatanka enter the world tag team title tournament after the smoking guns are forced to vacate it due to an injury. They defeat men on a mission and the head shrinkers to get to the finals, which happen at the Royal rumble. Ultimately, they're going to lose there to one, two, three kid and Bob Holly. They get plenty of time, 15 minutes and 32 seconds. Uh, Meltzer actually dug it. He gave it three and three quarter stars. Of course, the next night, uh, kid and Holly are going to lose the titles, uh, to the smoking guns because they're back in action. 